Namaste, Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. I see the God in you. <laughs> yes, I'm so excited and happy to be back doing your Zodiac reading. I haven't done in so freaking long. Uh, we're going to tap into this new spread that I have created for you guys. I've been working on it for a while. Let me know how you like it down in the comments. We're going to tap right into this reading and see what does the person on your mind want to say to you. Okay, right now, what do they what do, what do they want to say? Let's get to the bottom of it. You guys know I really like to be direct in my readings and I like to get to the points. Um, sooner rather than later, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. What does this person want to say to you right now? Ooh, okay. <laughs> well, someone didn't believe fat meat was greasy until it fell off the plate i feel like that's one for my grandma and the rest are soul and bees that's like a super duper duper old saying okay i didn't think you would walk away and they want to say i didn't think you would leave me how dare you walk away from me but you were my person <laughs> Ooh, Twin Flames. Okay. Whenever I see this card, I just kind of feel like this is the energy of there being an on-again and off-again situation. This person feels like what they want to say is like, yeah, I'll be back. Um, I'm hearing like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't know. So maybe this person has an accent or something. Um, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't think you would walk away. You created some sort of boundary with this person. And now they want to act right. <laughs> so you gave them some of that act right energy that they obviously deserve. Especially if they're a twin flame. Because that is all about enlightenment. That's too many cards. I just want two more. What else do they want to say? This person definitely feels some sort of deep soulmate connection with you. So if you have been like. I don't know like kind of worried or wondering about that that's that's what that is i'm tired of the silent treatment i want to sit down and talk about this once and for all i just want to say i do notice the exclamation marks here and i i i felt it with this one they're like where the hell are you <laughs> and what the fuck are you doing <laughs> Ooh, I felt that. I felt that f bomb. <laughs> like that was a straight up like woo a channel message. Aries, what are you doing to this person? They want to talk. They want to talk. If you're not speaking to someone or dealing with someone, let me know down in the comments, Aries. But I feel like if you are watching this, yeah, you do. You do. Oh, yes, I was cheating. Okay. Well, hey, it seems like this person wants you to forgive them. That's what I'm getting. Um, baby, I, I'm at a loss for words, Aries. Like, I really am blown away. The audacity of this person. The audacity of this person. Um, wow. So, let's just see... Whew, I need my notes because I'm getting a lot of like, who oh, you was cheating with who? Who was it with? Guys, you already know. You got to um, book a personal reading for all of that. Now, let me get back to these notes because that just threw me off. I was not expecting that, Arians. Oh, oh, okay. So here we go. Um, what are what are their current? Yes. Yeah, so what are their current intentions? We're gonna go into the melanin and romance. I had to write it down because I knew once I started channeling, I was gonna forget this spread. And this spread is gonna be juicy. So stay tuned to the end. Don't forget to press like. It really helps me when you do that. So share, subscribe if you feel guided to. 
what are their current intentions towards you, Aries? What are their current intentions towards you, Aries? Okay. Well, they're feeling the passion. Um, they want to be close to you. They want to be near you. Um, they're feel um, um make me feel alive. Like you know. They want to feel, ooh, their current intentions are, I mean, for some of you, their current intentions are to help you feel more self-abundant with their distance. This is a part of some sort of twin flame growth. Um, it's about self-love. Whether I do, now, are these intentions conscious or unconscious? Is this from their higher self? Only you know the answer to that, right? But we have self-abundant. This person's going to teach you how to love yourself and how to be independent and how to be living your purpose. Okay, here with this twin flame energy and this passion. Um, their, their current intentions are don't let them distract you from your work. Okay, because now I'm being guided to look at the story that's being told. All right, don't let them distract you from your freaking work what you have to do okay don't let them distract you with that passion but i mean if it's creative and it helps you creatively like if this person is like your muse then great i'm tired of the silent treatment so their t their current intentions we do unfortunately have this child in the reverse their current intentions are you know they you this could this person could possibly use their children against you your children against you children against you this person with the child in reverse could just honestly be acting immature so i mean i don't know this reading is kind of going in two and three different directions <laughs> but I'm just telling you right now with the child in reverse, I definitely get the vibe that this person is a little bit immature or they could be coming off that way. Um, don't let them pull you or snatch you away from your inner child. Okay, so yeah, I feel like sometimes when I see this card, it's just a feeling that I that I get in, intuitive, intuitively as a reader. Sometimes when I see it in reverse, it's like soul snatching energy. So don't let this person snatch your soul. Let them, don't let them break your soul. Don't let them take your energy. Um, that's the vibe. If you really felt guided to walk away, don't walk back. Don't go back. Trust your inner guidance system and always do what's led, okay? Yes, I was cheating. Okay, anyway, what are their current intentions? Really doesn't have anything to do with that, but that just kind of feels like it's it's associated with that energy. So, let's just see. Oh, this person, that, well, they do feel like you're, you are their soulmate. And their current intentions are to get you to stay in their life. Their current intentions are to get you to see that <laughs> you belong together. <laughs> I'm just laughing. It's not that I'm being pessimistic. I just feel like if this person is on some, like, you're my twin flame, there is so much work to be done with that connection. Like, sometimes I feel like I'd rather just be with a soulmate. I do believe in twin flames. I believe in spiritual hierarchy 101%, but only if you know who you are. Does that make sense? Don't even start with me, guys. All right. So let's just see. Um, how are you feeling about this person? Like, how you feel about where you guys are? How you feel about what's going on between you? How do you feel about this person? Just a few cards. Then we're going to see how they're feeling about you. Okay. Four of Swords in reverse. You could be feeling like this person moving, moving towards you, saying anything, doing anything. is like, it's almost like it's too little, too late. It's like all of a sudden this person wants to pop up in your energy, in your life. You could definitely be seeing 11, 11, 
11 and 11 could be significant for you. Hmm. Honestly, you just, you kind of feel confused, but you also feel enamored. So it's like, I'm confused, but I'm also enamored by this person. Like, they kind of make me feel like I could come out of my shell. Like, this person could, this person just makes you feel like even you have, like, more things to look for to than what you even ever thought. Okay, you could be definitely, most definitely an everybody's person. This person could be a Pisces, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Mercury. This person really is your wish fulfillment. You're into this person. You like their swag. You like their je ne sais quoi. You like the way that they live their life. This is your ideal person. Also, you could feel like it's really fun to go out with this person, be around this person. But you could also feel like this is a fantasy. Where is this going? What is this all about i'm only feeling that way when i'm tipsy right now <laughs> this, this is how you feel yeah what are you gonna do next what is this about are you for real are we gonna be able to do this can we fix this what's going on hopefully there isn't some sort of child neglect going on um yeah you're just kind of like in detective mode definitely they better not be caught doing nothing crazy on line that's what I'm getting, Aries, okay? Um, let's see. How's this person feeling about you? What are they feeling towards you? Aries, the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Mercury. How are they feeling about... <sighs> All right. Okay, you definitely make them... You make them nervous with your your energy um you make this person feel like am i making the right choice especially if this person has been indecisive with you um yeah you make them feel you make them feel like <sighs> they're not moving fast enough they're not doing what they need to do how are they feeling about you right now they feel like they're afraid of you of you being turned off by their inconsistencies um the way you talk makes them nervous the way you talk makes them nervous 100 you're intellectual like you're a hunter you get what you want they're trying their best is what i'm getting like i'm trying my best to make time for you i'm trying my best to do what i can for you I know that you might feel like it's it's not a lot, but at the end of the day, I am trying is how they feel, okay? So, hmm, that's pretty scandalous. That's pretty scandalous. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about that, Aries. You let me know how you're feeling about that, because I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Could be dealing with the Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, yeah, this person can just feel like about you that they need to, they need to get their shit together. They need to be in this king of cups energy, king of swords. Ooh, maybe that is for some of you. Maybe some of you could be dealing with a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, they need to be in their heart chakra when it comes to you. But I was looking at this page of swords. It's like you're on their ass like white on rice. So they feel like they need to be prepared for what you're about to bring. Because I'm feeling a storm brewing, okay? Because I just don't see you being okay with this back and forth energy. I don't have time. I just don't see you feeling like that's okay. Hmm. Let's get a little bit more details super quick and then we'll get some advice what are their thoughts about you and this connection this could be something they told you um your family won't like me all right like who are you <laughs> aries who is this person who is this your family won't like me really okay all right, there could be some third party issues or situations, some breaking up to making up to blend it. You know, I don't know. 
Um, that's kind of too many cards. That's too much, but I'll take it. And no, their thoughts are no. I never imagined so much perfection. So if you, if you're kind of like not feeling like you're worthy enough for them, this person is like, you're perfect. And the Ace of Wands, and they want a new beginning with you. Like, bottom line, if you don't think you're the bomb.com, this person thinks that you're everything. They think you have so much to achieve and accomplish in this life. This could be equivalent to the Nine of Pentacles here. So, yeah, I never imagined someone. They just think you're so perfect. And they don't, they don't understand why you don't see that about yourself. And maybe they know that it has something to do with them cheating if they were cheating. And um, that, that might be a big red flag for you. So I'm just saying really think about this person knows that they were wrong and that you didn't deserve that. Okay. They definitely know that you didn't deserve that. Yeah. Nah, this person vacillates between doing the right thing and making a smart decision and a stupid decision. <laughs> Don't let them be hanging out with some friends dumb and dumber. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the hell is going on? I'm just saying. Um, yeah, that's that's what I'm getting. I need more balance. I just split the deck. There we go. I need more balance. They do. They definitely need more balance. We got that here with this two of with this two of pentacles. I mean, that's what this is. They they know. They need to get their life together. They need to. And, you know, sometimes they want to do the right thing. Sometimes they don't. It's just kind of blasé. I'm not trying to make you feel weird about this reading. I'm just giving you the messages that are coming through that are urgent for you to, I guess, like, hear right now. So let me pull some. I'm just going to channel some advice cards from this deck because the other deck I was looking for, I don't see it. Oh, here it is. Right in my face. Oh, my goodness. Let's get some advice from the romance angels. Ooh, oh my god oh my goodness I said godness look religious factors okay your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so for some of you you might feel like man I hope this person will be willing to convert um that's something that could be coming up to your or you know it's like they're making you this could be an opposite attracts relationship different ethnic backgrounds okay just different energy in general and you're just like oh my god how's my family gonna feel like this is this is a this this is also cultural differences as well so that is a factor and you're just you just they want you to know also that you are calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmation and visualizations help bring you together so you regardless this is your soulmate or you're either calling in your soulmate so all of those religious factors anything that is an opposition of you guys being together and being in a union especially with this twin flame energy i know um i think i have a twin flame video linked in the description you can check it out if you if you're new especially on your journey when it involves twin flames so yeah calling in your soulmate it's just like, mm, your soulmate is your twin flame. Your twin flame is your soulmate. But you're calling in your specific person. You're calling in the person of your dreams. This is happening now. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this new relationship, this new connection, this new frequency, this higher vibrational frequency energy? Because in order to be a soulmate twin flame relationship, it is coming from a loving place. There are there is a lot of love involved here. So you're calling them in. They just want you to know that no matter what, your religious factors have nothing to do with this. Like this connection is beyond that. 
you feel me all right that's your reading aries see you in the next one until then namaste peace and love